I'm joined now by Mr. Claude yes. Mandel. So we've just finished the second symposium the, on CCS. What, was the, what are the big takeaways from this? Uh, there have been seven, uh, several takeaways. The first one is that uh, we realized that uh, CCS is making technical progress. You know, CCS is something which is uh, uh, a work in progress. We are uh, improving the technologies uh, regularly and uh, we listened to very interesting progress. Second, uh, it was a, an impressive meeting in the sense that uh, there were people from producing countries, people from consuming countries, companies, governments, and everybody around the same table, and everybody saying more or less the same thing. That is extremely positive. But there are still hurdles. There are still some big hurdles, I'm hearing. There are many hurdles. Uh, one of them is uh, you need a price for CO2 if you want to really implement on a large scale uh, CCS. The second hurdle is perhaps even more important is that uh, you need the general public to understand what it is and the governments to understand what it is too. Uh, and uh, that's not easy because nobody un exactly understands what CCS is. Even the word, what, what does CCS mean to the general public? Uh, you, you can see a light bulb, uh, a light bulb uh, which is an efficient one. You cannot see CCS. So there is a huge need for explanation and uh, for making sure, of course, that the arguments for CCS are convincing ones. That means that it is totally secure, that it is part of an, an, an important part of the solution, certainly not the only part of the solution for uh, mitigating G, uh, greenhouse gases. Energy efficiency, renewables and nuclear are also big parts of the solution. But we need to be probably to have more convincing arguments and simpler arguments. Now, here we are in an emerging economy, a developing country, and indeed one of the big projects in the world, which is yes. to be commended here. What are the initiatives that can be put in place to get emerging economies and developing economies more interested in CCS? This country was very interested in CCS, not only because it's a, de a developing economy, but mainly because it is an OPEC country. It's a, it's a producing country, and of course for producing countries, CCS is key. And in addition, this CCS project here is coupled with uh, enhanced oil recovery, which means that there is a benefit to it. But uh, more globally, uh, there is a strong need for uh, investments in CCS in developing economies to be paid for by uh, uh, the general system of the Un uh, United Nations uh, Convention. That means to make sure that it is included in the so-called clean development mechanism. Very curiously, that's not the case today and nobody frankly understands why. Do you think looking ahead to COP16 in Mexico, maybe this is the time and that can be the place where we will see more awareness and it can be moved and actioned maybe from there? Well, certainly I, I, there is a need for that in Cancun, Mexico. Uh, whether it will succeed uh, remain to be seen, but it is certainly a need in Mexico to uh, strengthen uh, the advocacy for that. Super. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.